Will Shorts. This is the 34th American Star. start by welcoming two new sponsors to the event. One is Big Pens. They provided pens out in the hallways for everyone. And Penny Publications, which publishes Penny Press and Dell Puzzle Magazines. And we also welcome back St. Martin's Press and New York Times Digital. Number of people will be competing this weekend. Of course, we don't know yet because people will still be signing in. But it looks like our attendance will be a little over 650, which will be an increase over last year. There are three attendees besides me who have attended all 34 American Crossword Puzzle tournaments. First of all, we have one contestant who has competed all 34 years, Jay Kosofsky. championship in 1978 is now an official Nancy Schuster. She is now manning the registration desk. And we have a, one person who has been an official uh, for all 34 years, right-hand person, Doug Heller. Tonight, uh, we will have, uh, as I mentioned, crossword magic. We will have a short presentation from Ross Beresford, a former British resident, now an American, who will do a quick crossword boot camp, who will uh, explain the, some of the subtle differences between British cryptics and American cryptics. How many people here solve cryptics at least occasionally? Raise your hand. Oh, very good. How many people really have either never done them or almost never done cryptics? Raise your hand. Okay, significant number. We're going to have uh, cryptics for both types of solvers. <laughs> and then we're going to have the U.S. versus U.K. crossword showdown. This has been an idea I've had for years. There will be a British cryptic by Don Manley. He's one of the uh, Britain's best-known cryptic crossword composers. And an American cryptic by Rich Silvestri. Uh, regular in the New York Times and elsewhere. Uh, in the audience tonight are three British citizens who come over for the championship. I think they're sitting together. Mark Goodliffe, Peter Biddlecombe, and Simon Anthony. Can you raise your hands? They're all crackerjack solvers. Um, Mark and Peter, between them, have won six of the last seven national crossword championships in Britain. And we will see how they do on the American cryptic. That's in New York. And he writes, Dear Mr. Shore, several days ago, I submitted my first crossword puzzle for your consideration. In my eagerness to submit my puzzle, I failed to wait for input from my best and usually harshest critic. I recently heard from the last of my family members who I used to test it out, my daughter, and I am embarrassed to say that she pointed out that one of my clues is not exactly correct. For 16 across, my clue was Mademoiselle of Children's Literature, and the answer I gave was Madeline, M-A-D-E-L-E-I-N-E. -E -E. My daughter correctly informs me that the spelling of the character in the children's book is Madeline, M-A-D-E. L I N E. As a result, I was hoping to amend my puzzle so that the clue for 16 across would be Mademoiselle of Children's Literature variant. 